I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but it'd be like, you know, a cool, like, you know, he throws it and it's like, yeah, uh, it'd be really cool. Hey geeks, welcome to my channel. I'm Trey Guillotine and you're watching Daily Marvels where I give a few thoughts on some of the Marvel news that went on in the past week. We got a sneak peek at Avengers Infinity War. Captain America apparently won't have a love interest in Avengers Infinity War. People are also worried about Captain America's new shield. And we did get our first trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it around so others can join in the conversation. Okay, so I'm lying when I say that we got a sneak peek at Avengers Infinity War just like the actual announcement of a sneak peek at Avengers Infinity War was also a lie. Apparently in the last week, a band called the, what are they called, the Static Shift tweeted out that they got a special sneak preview of Avengers Infinity War and they thought it was so cool and now they're going to tweet it out to the rest of the internet and apparently the sneak preview that they tweeted out was just a shorter version of the trailer that came out over a month ago. So fans were already pretty annoyed by this. Uh, definitely a lot of people were pretty annoyed by this, especially like their actual tweet says, we got to look at Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, which opens in theater May 4th. We can't wait to see it. Check it out. And then they gave a link to uh, and then they, and then like the, the Twitter video was, I guess their, uh, their sneak preview, which again was just a shorter trailer. So people were pretty pissed off. My, my biggest question is what does this band, the Static Shift, a band I've personally never heard of, have anything to do with Avengers Infinity War? Do they have a song in the movie? Did they like do this, the, the they do a lot of the music for the movie. I'm, I'm not really sure why, because there was rumors going around that we were about to get a big sneak preview for Avengers Infinity War. It's either going to be like a new trailer or a clip or a new teaser coming out in the next couple of days. And then this is what it ends up being, that it's this tweet from this band that I've never heard of giving giving footage that we've already seen. I, I don't know what the logistics behind this was, if this was something for Marvel Studios or if the band were saying that, you know, they're they're going to give a sneak preview and, and you know, out, news outlets picked up on that and started running with it. Uh, I, I really, I don't know what the logistics behind this plan was. So, but just kind of definitely bad on them. But then again... I'm now talking about a band called Static Shift that I've never heard of, but I've now said it, I think, five or six times. So, hey, maybe this was just them trying to get free publicity. Speaking of Avengers Infinity War, it looks like Captain America's not going to have a love interest in Avengers Infinity War. And my response to that is, why would he? It's, I mean, it was clearly possible that Sharon Carter could have played a role. It's entirely possible that Sharon Carter could have played a role in Avengers Infinity War, but it's also not a huge surprise that she's not. She is a very Cap-centric character. She's a very Captain America-centric character, so it did, so it's not like she needed to be in Avengers Infinity War. I do think she should have had a role in Black Panther instead of Martin Freeman's CIA, CIA character that would have been just kind of a better just a better fit for a character we're already pretty familiar with working with the CIA going into like meet with Wakanda. But then again, her stealing Captain America's at Captain America and Falcon and Winter Soldier's outfits apparently put her on like a watch list. Now she's also on the run. So it's entirely possible that Captain America and Sharon Carter have been on the run together. We really don't know. But I don't find it surprising that she's not going to be a part of Avengers Infinity War and there's not going to be this romantic uh, aspect to Avengers Infinity War because it's not a Captain America movie. It's it's not even a, a Sharon Carter movie. It's Avengers Infinity War it has 94 other different characters that are going to be a huge deal. So I really don't think romance really needs to be a part of it. Now, of course, you could argue that romance was a big part of Age of Ultron between Black Widow and the Hulk, or at least... Uh, or at least Natasha Romanoff and Bruce Banner. But then, but Bruce Banner doesn't get his own movies to flesh out romantic entanglements and different character aspects of Bruce Banner and the Hulk. He just gets the Avengers movie and, and Thor Ragnarok, which I think is a huge crime, but I'm very excited that he's getting bigger roles in the next two movies that he's going to be in, one of which being Avengers Infinity War, and then I'm guessing Avengers Part 4. But having Sharon Carter and, and not having a, a love interest in Avengers Infinity War, I don't think... Is necessarily a bad thing. 
Speaking of Captain America, there is a huge uproar over Captain America's new shield. If you remember in Captain America Civil War, he dropped his shield. He let it go because Tony because Tony Stark was furious with him and he was saying that he doesn't deserve that shield because his father, Howard Stark, is the one who made that shield. So he dropped it. He agreed. He's like, you're right. I shouldn't have this shield. And he left it, thus kind of maybe even leaving his Captain America persona. He looked very different from any Captain America we've seen in Avengers Infinity War. But given that... But given that a shield is definitely probably his most used uh, means of defense and offense, it makes sense that he would try to replace that shield. And the shield that and the shield that was leaked is actually leaked through a through some like glimpses at upcoming toys for Avengers: Infinity War. And let's just stop there and think about how many leaks come from toys. Like you know, people are worried that you know, oh, someone's gonna hack. Uh, Marvel Studios computers or, or, or Disney's computers and get footage from the movies, but I feel like most of the leaks we get are just from toys being made before the movies that we then see that, you know, we see the Lego Spider-Man with the with the Iron Spider arms. Now we're seeing Captain America's shield that he's using in uh, Avengers Infinity War. The look of the shield, it does look very cool. It's definitely not the circular shield. It actually looks more like, I don't know what to call it. It looks like the kind of play shield or the acting shield he had in the beginning of the, the, the first Captain America, the first Avenger, when he was just on stage. Uh, you know, it's, that, it's definitely that very similar to that shape, but it also looks like it might be retractable. In the trailers, we never actually see that Captain America is holding a shield, but we kind of see that he, that on that like on his bracer on his on on the bracer of one of his arms is this like kind of big looking device. So it's theorized that that's actually like a a, retra a new Wakanda designed retractable shield, which I think that would look pretty cool. The shield itself looks pretty cool. It looks like it'd do some damage, and you know, along with it being retractable, it looks like like he has the shield and just the basic shield here but then it looks like there's something that could like spring out of it like maybe like you know i don't know i don't know how to describe it but it'd be like you know a cool like you know he throws in it's like yeah uh, it'd be really cool but chances are this isn't going to be like his forever shield now this is just like until he's able to you know bro hug it out with tony stark and get a new shield or even his old shield we finally got our first official trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, which comes out in July. Of course, it's our first like teaser trailer. It doesn't go too far into what the story is going to be. It just gives us like a general idea. And it's that they're on the run, that because of Scott Lang, they're on the run. So it looks like because of his involvement with Captain America in Civil War, and then I guess be and breaking out of the raft at the end of Civil War, that might be why they're on the run. But it also shows him getting a uh, like an ankle bracelet, like an ankle monitor so that the police like he's under house arrest. So I really, I, I don't know, but it's very clear in this trailer that they are on the run from something, but it doesn't look like they're on the run from the police. It looks more like they're on the run from people from like another organization that's chasing him. And actually Lawrence Fishburne is actually in this movie, which I had no idea about. So obviously I'm guessing he's gonna be either just a huge important ally or he's gonna be the big bad, like a rival scientist to Hank Pym. Uh, but of course, because it is Ant-Man and the Wasp, we also get a lot of good looks at Evangeline Lilly as Janet Van Dyne as the Wasp. And it's actually really funny when Scott sees her in action, he's like, oh, you gave her wings? And Hank seems like, yeah, and blasters. Well, I guess he didn't have that kind of technology with me. He's like, no, I did. Uh, it, it, just as much as the action looks cool, it's definitely keeping to its very comedic, to like the very comedic nature of Ant-Man, which Ant-Man was probably the first like comedy was kind of like the first comedy action movie from Marvel Studios to come out with. So it makes sense that it's actually going to be, it's still going to be very comedic. And it's actually being described as Marvel Studios' first, as the MCU's first romantic comedy. So what the actual story of Ant-Man and the Wasp is going to be is still up in the air. We're only get it doesn't come out till July, so we still have two movies before Ant-Man and the Wasp comes out. And obviously we're going to see, probably see some changes and some of the things from Avengers Infinity War affect Ant-Man for Ant-Man and the Wasp. But until then we have Black Panther and then we have Avengers Infinity War coming out in May. 
So we've got a little bit of time for more teasers and more trailers to come out for Ant-Man and the Wasp. And of course, it's going to be different. And of course, we're probably not going to get a lot of information about it until after Avengers Infinity War, because I feel like giving too much information about the movie that comes out after Infinity War would be giving a little bit away of Avengers Infinity War, aside from the fact that everything in Ant-Man and the Wasp looks a-okay. You know, the world doesn't look like it's destroyed. It doesn't look like Thanos is running the is like ruling the world or anything like that. What do you think of these daily marvels? And were there any news stories you'd like to talk about? Let me know in the comments and follow me on all the internets. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it around so others can join the conversation. You can check out my written reviews of Marvel TV shows and movies at treyguillotine.blogspot.com and subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun.